Okay, ladies, we're back. Now, before we start making my Southwestern chicken, chili, kale soup, I wanted to just give you a quick couple tips that'll make your life a lot easier if you're in a hurry. It is a busy week at the Pelly household today, so I need to be organized. Um, I always use garlic in the squeeze. Instead of buying the regular chopping it, it's just a time, time saver. I buy the garlic here. I also buy kale, pre-washed and pre-cut. This is makes your life a lot easier. And again, this is an, an amazing way to use leftover chicken. If you don't have leftover chicken and you're just going to make the breasts from scratch, what I would recommend is getting the thin cut, um, oh, I guess they're kind of like little chicken fillets, but they're, it's just white breast, really thin, they'll cook way faster. And before you put them in the oven, you can hear the oven going on in the background because it's heating up, I need to make these. A little salt and pepper and a little ground cumin. Now, cumin is um, a Mexican spice and it just really adds to the flavor of the soup. So that's it, let's get started. It's a one pot meal, let's go. result. It's packed with protein, tons of chicken, beans for all your protein, kale for lots of good fiber, tomatoes, a little chicken stock, and now you'll see that I have garnished this with a little bit of non-fat plain Greek yogurt in place of sour cream, a couple slices of avocado, some cilantro just to make it pretty, and I would also garnish it with a little squeeze of lime. Now you can also serve this with pita chips. I like to keep the carbs to a bare minimum, so I normally wouldn't have pita chips with it. Um, you know, instead I just dress it up with a little bit of the yogurt and the avocado. But either way you slice it, it's delicious. Put it in your fridge and it's great for heat and eat throughout the week. For this recipe, workouts, beauty, and style inspiration, follow me at anyperfectconfidential.com, visit the blog, and I'll see you next week.